Well, there is a new smartphone app aimed at medical marijuana users. It brings the pot right to their front door. KKL 9's Bobby Capel is live in Hollywood where he spoke with the founders of LA's new weed delivery service. Bobby. Well, Elsa, for years, people have been buying their medical marijuana at dispensaries like these, but now for the first time, they're going to be able to do it on their phone via delivery. You know, we're entrepreneurs and we saw a need in the market and we decided to, to fill that need. 25-year-old Roddy Rodnia and 30-year-old Michael Peicher are about to shake up the medical marijuana market as they get set to launch a new app offering the ability to buy marijuana and have it delivered from your fingertips. We want to make it more convenient for the people who are you know, dealing with certain types of, type of ailments and wanted to make it easier for them to be able to get their medication without having to make that awkward trip out to the store. We're happy to say we're the first app to do this. The app, called Nest Drop, works like a kind of Uber for medical marijuana, as they partner with dispensaries who will then deliver throughout the LA area in under an hour. There's no way to skirt around the law here, so you have to do everything the way you normally would. We're just giving you a new platform to do it. So you have to have your state-issued photo ID, your medical marijuana card, and your doctor's recommendation. You'll also have to show your ID upon delivery. Paisley Bradbury with the Compassion Union Dispensary, not affiliated with the app, says she welcomes it. The people who still want the delivery service is very small compared to the people that want to come and see it themselves. So I don't think it's going to be a competitive thing. So this portion of the app will be launching in the next couple weeks. The big question becomes, is this going to be legal? I contacted our legal analyst tonight, Steve Meister. He told me that this is a gray area because this is all uncharted territory, but that because it's the Internet and an app, it could involve federal regulation. So we'll have to see how that plays out as well. We're live tonight in Hollywood. Bobby Capel, KCAL 9 News.